Hello, everyone. Welcome to the mini lecture on intelligent equipment fault diagnosis and maintenance. Today, we will learn about the design of the startup circuit for CNC machine tools. The startup circuit of a CNC machine tool is crucial for the overall performance of the equipment. It provides the necessary electrical support to start the main components of the machine tool, including motors and servo systems. Therefore, the reliability and stability of the startup circuit directly affect whether the machine tool can operate normally. In this lesson, I hope you can understand the importance of the startup circuit in CNC machine tools, learn about the design tasks and electrical components of the startup circuit, and master the control logic and design steps of the startup circuit. 1. Design Task Start and Stop Circuit Design for CNC Systems The external input strong electricity is AC 3 phase 380 volts, of which two phases are introduced and then passed through short circuit, overload, and undervoltage protection before being input into a step-down transformer converted to 220 volts. After passing through protection control and key switch control, it is input into the switching power supply, generating a DC 24 volts power supply. The 24 volts DC power supply is transmitted into the system, starting the system. To achieve control over the system startup, the 24 volts power supply must be controlled by start and stop buttons. That is, when the start button is pressed, the system starts. When the stop button is pressed, the system powers down. The start button is SB1, the stop button is SB2, and the intermediate relay uses KA1. Then, the intermediate relay KA1 controls the contactor KM1, and finally, KM1 connects the system power supply, achieving system startup. 2. Introduction to Electrical Components 1. AC 3 phase 380 volts voltage is represented by L1, L2, L3, N, which is a three-phase four-wire system, consisting of three live wires L1, L2, L3, and one neutral wire N. Two phases are L1 and N, serving as AC 220 volts. 2. Short circuit Overload, under voltage protection, refers to the low voltage circuit breaker, denoted by QF. Note that the contact has an arc extinguishing function. When the circuit experiences short circuits, overloads, or under voltages, the low voltage circuit breaker will trip and disconnect, protecting the circuit. 3. Step Down Transformer the two-phase 380 volts is converted into two-phase 220 volts through a step-down transformer, with these two phases redefined as L and N. Note, 380 volts is connected to the primary coil, input side, as the primary side, and 220 volts is the secondary coil, output side, as the secondary side. 4. Switching Power Supply the two-phase AC220 volts is converted into a step-down rectification transformer of DC24 volts. AC220 volts is connected to the L and N positions input side of the switching power supply with plus and minus COM terminals output providing DC24 volts. 5. Intermediate Relays and AC Contactors Intermediate relays are commonly used for signal transmission, amplification, and circuit protection. Intermediate relays consist of two parts, the coil and contacts, denoted by KA. Terminals 13 and 14 connect to the coil, with 12 and 4, 9 and 1 forming a pair of normally closed contacts, and 12 and 8, 9 and 5 forming a pair of normally open contacts. AC contactors are primarily used for frequently connecting and disconnecting high current loads in the main circuit, especially during the startup and shutdown of motors. AC contactors are divided into three parts, the coil, main contacts, and auxiliary contacts, denoted by KM. 
Terminals 1L1, 3L2, 5L3 connect to the input side of the main contacts, while 2T1, 4T2, 8T3 connect to the output side of the main contacts. And C is connected to a pair of normally closed contacts, and O is connected to a pair of normally open contacts, and A1 and A2 drive the coil. Note, the intermediate relay is used for driving low voltage, with the KA coil using DC 24 volts, and the contacts can switch DC 24 volts, AC 220 volts. The AC contactor coil is driven by an AC 220 volts power source, with the main contacts capable of switching AC 380 volts, and the auxiliary contacts can switch DC 24 volts, AC 220 volts. 6. Key Switches and Buttons A key switch is a type of switch device operated by a special key, mainly used for security control and access management. Its symbol is represented by SA. A button is a simple manual input device used to send signals to the control system. It can be divided into various types, such as normally open, NO, normally closed, and C, and changeover. 3. Design of the startup circuit. All the components needed for the CNC machine tool system startup circuit have been introduced. According to the task requirements, let's review the control logic of the startup circuit together. 1. Connect two-phase AC 380 volts power to the low voltage circuit breaker, double pole switch, for protection, then connect it to the step-down transformer to convert it into two-phase AC 220 volts power. After the AC 220 volts power comes out, one phase passes through the low voltage circuit breaker, single pole switch, goes through the key switch, and is input into the switching power supply, which outputs DC 24 volts. 2. After the switching power supply outputs, the plus terminal is connected to both the stop button and the start button. The start button energizes the intermediate relay coil, which in turn drives the AC contactor coil through AV 220 volts. The DC 24 volts power is then fed into the system's CNC power interface through the auxiliary contact of the AC contactor, with line 29 connecting to plus and line 30 connecting to minus. In this lesson, we have studied several electrical components used in the design and application of the CNC machine tool system startup circuit, as well as the thought process and logical analysis behind the circuit design. Based on the electrical symbols and analytical logic, we have designed the startup circuit. Learning this content is not only about acquiring technical skills, but also about inheriting the spirit of craftsmanship and taking responsibility for the development of the manufacturing industry. I hope you can apply the knowledge gained to practical work and contribute to the advancement of intelligent manufacturing. That concludes today's lesson. Thank you, everyone.